Welcome to the Risk Forever channel guys. The channel which shares the most relevant tips and tricks on how to win at risk, and improve your rank in no time. Subscribe to the channel and you won't even see how fast you will become so much better at risk. Push that notification bell to see new videos first. This is your host champion ever. And in this series I will be sharing the best moves, strategies, tactics and players I find. So in this video I will show you a very smart Australia strategy which is called the Australian Turtle Strategy. So sometimes you will end up in a 3 player situation when you have Australia, another player both of the Americas, and the third one has Europe plus Africa. And in these kind of situations it can be very obvious that these two big continent players have the alliance with each other as they not only not attack each other, but sometimes don't even guard their borders against each other at all. Well, in the showcased situation the green player did, but the orange player was just building his biggest army on the borders which are the closest to me. So obviously I didn't unleash his army because who knew, he might have looked to suicide once I do that. As let's remember this was the game with random strangers in the public lobbies, and the suiciding is very often in them. A player gets a little bit more mad on you, and then goes full kamikaze on you while not realizing or not even caring at all that he will just ruin the game for both of you. So in the public lobbies if you want to play safe, then it's the best to play as passive as possible, or unless you in a very advantageous situation. So anyways, the strategy I'm showcasing is called the Australian Turtle Strategy, when you just put your troops to one big army being neutral and waiting till other players will destroy each other too much. And obviously when two other players are balancing each other getting huge troop bonuses, then it's not something up to you to do anything if they don't want to attack each other at all or sometimes even guard at all. So what do you do guys? Just keep turtling, just keep building those troops in Australia till your opponents finally start attacking each other. Sooner or later they will have to start attacking each other anyways, if of course they won't be smart enough to team up on you by crushing all the troops they get into you until you become worth to be taken out for one of them. But that's a topic for another day, it's unusual for players to use that strategy in the public lobbies anyways. So either one of the players will suicide on you, or they will finally start attacking each other a lot. And the second option is what we want. So just keep turtling, and wait till one of the players becomes tempted to invade another one, and for that another one to retaliate. Then the big show will become to happen. Maybe at first they won't attack themselves as much. But later on they might. So you just need to stay patient and wait till the moment when they make a mistake by attacking each other too much so you end up having the same number of troops or even more of them than both of these players combined. And then that's simple. Just take them both out in a single turn and win the game. Give this video a thumbs up if you find this strategy valuable. And let me know your experience with it in the comments section down below.